Good evening, people. Yeah, too. <laughs> Good evening. Parents, I, I, parents, you must have finished your shots. You're ready up to going to the mikvah. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I can't hear you, but yeah, I believe you gotta be. I have to keep it quiet in the mikvah. Um, uh -huh. Okay. I, All right. I have, um, I have a, a quick mikvah question before before we start. Yeah. When okay. when the Gemara talks about the shear of a mikvah being one by one by three. Yeah. Is the one by one square or round? I think that it's square. Why? But I thought too. But, but then there's a there's a, I'm just I'll I'll ask later about it. But there's the Gemara Avri Psachim about it that I don't understand like that. Okay, well you right, you got me so to speak. But the way that I understand it, it is square. That's what I thought too. Okay. Um, all right. So I got I got another page from you, but it's different than the one that didn't come out. I think. Okay. Well, first thing I would like to do, I just want to learn the Mishnah. And then we're going to get involved over here because this is a subject which we touched on many times, and um, I believe it's fascinating. <sighs> The subject is not all water is water. That's the subject which we're talking about. Rav might want to center himself into the frame. Uh, which way do I go? This way. Yeah. This yeah. way. That's you better. Can just tilt the, you can tilt the phone also. And it doesn't... How do I tilt? Yeah, it works. Whatever. Uh, the is centered. Way. The is fine. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fine. Whatever. Okay. All right. Anyways, um, Zion Bays. So we're discussing the subject of the Mishnah is about different kinds of waters that fall into the mikvah and they have different halachic statuses and therefore they can do or undo things differently. That's the subject of the Mishnah. These waters can passel, but they can't make the mikvah kosher. Okay, if you have water that's shu'uv, whether the water is tame, whether the water is tahar, if you have brine, <coughs> excuse me, if you have um, water that you had vegetables in it, that you had kvashim, um, atemed, Temet is you, you make, I call it fake wine. I don't know exactly what it's called in English. You just, you. I think they call it mead. <laughs> what do they call it? Mead. Med. 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 Okay. Well, whatever. It just means that you, you, let, you soak the, the junk that's left over from the wine in water, and then you get fake wine. That's basically, that's basically what it is. Achila um, Yechmitz. As long as it wasn't mach mitzvah, so all of those things, even though they have um, a different characteristic to it, it's really only water. So being that it's only water, it has a show problem. Now it's the two things, even though if you would have mesh locus, let's say we'll use that as an example, that you could make on it a hadoma. So, Lachaira, if I were to ask you a question, is that, could that make Shu'uvim or not? Shepherd, do you get the question? Of course. Wow. I'm, I'm flattered. <laughs> I didn't understand. Okay. In other words, the, the subject is something that's water, can make could be a problem if you pour it into the mikvah of shuvim. How mu removed from water does it have to be to be called not water? Now, do I take my Pepsi Cola and I pour it in? Is that water or not? What's tea? How do I how do I decide? How do I decide? At what point do I decide that this is not water anymore? That's that's the subject which we're discussing. 
So what I say, and this is like the question, so if you get ready, you don't make a shakal on it, you make a dough on it. So maybe it's not water. No, it's, is, is the subject re revolve around brachas? What does it revolve around? That's the question. Yeah, Yechiel, are you with us? I understood the question. Okay. Okay, Shlomo, it looks like you are you are pleading the fifth. <laughs> no, I right. understand. I understand. Yeah, I understand. Okay. <laughs> all right. So that's that. So here the mission is making the statement that if you have all these things, even though they have moved away from being classical water, they're still classical water uh, as far as our alochas are concerned. Kate's at points and below mylim. How do you have things that can passel and they can't be myla? So this is really a strange kind of a thing. Why? Because if it's not water, so how does it passel? Right? Knows if your banana falls in, it doesn't passel and it's not myla, right? But poisel below myla means it has some kind of a watery halacha to it, and yet it's not enough that it. Uh, so what is that? So we're gonna see. Mikvah she aged by our boy himself, Chasa Kurtiv. You have a mikvah that's Chasa, but not for Shama Kurte, Melvin Kurta with Saiko, Lai Halu, Lai Paslu. A Bishlai Shalogim, Avo Shalshar Mashkim, but if it's other kinds of Mashkim, which are Me Peyrois, Hatsir, Hamorsim, Hatemed, Mishechmitz, all of these things, Me Peyrois is, um, I don't know how to translate it. Probably have to get somebody who has like an art scroll to translate. Um, fruit juice is called Zaya Ba'alma. I don't know how to translate that into English exactly, but uh, we all know what it means. It means that it's fruit juice, but it's not important enough to get a special name. It's generic. Anybody have a better translation for it? No, it's. Uh, Ari, you don't look very happy. You're not on. You're you're off. I'm actually lost. Which mission we're up to? I can't find it. We're at Zion Bays. Okay, that's better. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Anyway, so the question over here, the question over here is. You know, may, I don't know what May Paris is exactly. It's not water. That's quite obvious because it's not water and it's not um, called the fruit. You know, so when we have grape juice, the grape juice is called the fruit. Yes, Sheffer. The Mishnah prefaces this part of the section by calling it Mashkim. Isn't that a clue, a giveaway that it's not Mayim? Um, the Sheva Mine Mashkims, Yachadam. One of them is mine. And for a kosher mikvah, you need water, not a mashka. You're not a chabatska. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure I understand what you're saying exactly. The first listing of things in the Mishnah was water based. Right. In the Ke'ilu, the word Mayim appears there. Yeah. But when it comes to Sha'ar Mashkim, we don't call that Mayim. Um, that's true, but they're not so far away from water. And we're going to see, we're going to see, uh, uh, you know what? Uh, well, the let, Temet let, is the Temet. Let's finish is... the Mishnah. What's that? Let's finish the Mishnah, and then we'll see if your question gets worse or gets better okay no it's, I, I i i i think that we'll get we'll get there what do you want to say Gil? No, i was going to say that you have temed uh yeah i pretty... understand but they, so it could be just saying it's on the other side of the other side of the border that's what he's saying but let's just see what the other side of the border is so that is we have all these things i don't know what they all are exactly i can tell you their english names if that's what makes a difference but we got the general idea of what's going on over here. Palm in my little palm in my little. Now, um, we have a problem with Sheffer over here because Sheffer says they're not water. And we said we can only make a mikvah out of water. 
So obviously over here, we're saying that they have some kind of watery characteristic and that's part of what we're learning over here. So Ketzad, Nikva Sheyesh Boar Boi Misa Chaser Achas, Yeva Mikva Chaser, Venavu Letoi Chai Sa Mehem, and they fell in a saw, Lo Helu, why? Because they're not water. How you bar boy himself? If you had a mikvah already of our boy himself, now once it's a mikvah of our boy himself, you can put it in whatever you want. You can put it in shove, you can put it in bananas, rocks, you can put it in whatever you want. It's kosher and never can become possible. But what happens if you take out water? Or I, I don't know what the word water is the wrong word to use. You drain out of the mikvah liquid. 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 Liquid, right? You have the liquid liquid. And now you have you're back to 40 saw. So we know that part of that liquid that's there is some of this, my favorite English word, stuff, which is not water. So is the mikvah kosher or not? So it says the Mishnah, mikvah sheesh wa boy sarachas, the novel atoy. And then you put in a saw, this stuff. The notal saw, and then you drained out a saw. I raise a kosher, even though it does not have 40 saw of water. So how do we understand that? In the first case, it's it's not connected. In the second case, it's not connected. It's it's mixed. In the first both case, cases, in the first, both cases it mixes. The second in the, in the safer, it's mixed so much that you don't see a difference between them. So now, according to you, there's a new bittle of a bittle by our boy himself. There's some sort of thing. It seems so. Okay, I'm saying, but that's. Uh, uh, that would answer the question. No, no, that would, that's good. It would answer the question, but you understand why we're not so excited about that. I actually know how to like way. find what the answer should be. I don't know why it happens that way. No, 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 no. It's your your methodology <laughs> is good. Your methodology is good. I believe that you're you know you're on to the the mahalach. So how are we going to answer this question? Wouldn't, wouldn't this apply to shuvim also? No. Why not? You put shuvim in. Uh, I mean, because. I make it 40 saw. I add a saw of shuvim and then I take out a saw of the mixed water. Still kosher. No, because then the shuvim became kosher. The shuvim became water. Okay, there you got your point. There you got your theory here. No, but this isn't this isn't water. There you have water that we call it tummy water. I don't want to call it shuvim. I don't know what you call that's, it exactly. And that's, and that's colored or flavored water. Okay. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is it water or it's not water? I, I am sure chemically it's mostly water. I'm, you know what? If I, w if I wanted to know what it was chemically, I would ask a, a chemist. But we all know what it is. Nobody over here has any spacus. So if it's if it's chemically water, why isn't if it, why isn't if it's not shuvim? Why doesn't it machsher the mikra? Either colored or flavored or whatever. Yeah, why shouldn't the kumasha if, chemi if chemically is the subject? Yeah, and if, if wine falls in, wine is not water, right? So why are we discussing wine? Is, 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 can it do it if it's not enough, if it white wine falls wine in? Why cannot, why is not, cannot be makshu the mikro, no? If it's white wine falls in. No, can't be makshu the mikro. It doesn't possibly because it's not water. Even though, as you would say, chemically we know that wine is just water. I mean, it's pretty much, I don't know how, what the percent is, but it's not, it's, it's mostly water. Otherwise, otherwise the guy would be finished after the, after no, one. Wait, 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 it's, it's by milk, by milk that we could do it. No, there, there's different subject. There's different subject of, uh, but, but it's not water. There's a little water. It's not. We're gonna learn that Mishnah. 
but it's not water. It's even worse than these things. These at least have some kind of a water aspect to them. Now I'm going to I'm going to stop over here and I'm going to go back to the first Mishnah and I want to discuss what I what we what I would like to discuss tonight. In the first Mishnah, we spoke about um, Sheleg, got a whole list of things over here, Barod, a whole list of water-like things. And we discussed them of whether you can make a mikvah, they're mitzvah to a mikvah, they're water, they're not water. And as parents would say, we know what they're made out of. You know, there's no, we have no suffix as to what snow is or what frost is, all of this stuff is all the same. It's H2O, period. That's no, there's no discussion about that. However, and this is the subject, this is Nagea Aloch Lama So I'm going to start with a, um, a fascinating halacha in Hilchas Chomet, since it's already Shabbos Mavorchim Elo uh, uh, Adar. So that means that Pesach is around the corner and um, Therefore, I was ready last night in the matzah bakery. So, um, and I had this year, I actually had matzahs fresh. They're usually not there that early, but uh, changing one of the places that I'm baking, I had to go there early. So I had some fresh matzah. Anyways, um, we're going to have a question over here about schnapps. Beer is hummus. What is beer? You take hops and you cook them and then you ferment them. So it's ready. It's 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 barley soup. In barley is the problem. Hops and hops and barley is two different things. It's the barley that's the problem. Or the wheat. But that's okay, but right. That's the barley that goes into the hops. Yeah. But the or something. Yeah. But uh, barley that goes into it, that's that's it's just it's just it's just soup, basically. That's what that's what it is. That ferments. Okay, that's obvious. We know what that is. And that's chomitz gomor. There's no discussion about it. Schnapps is questionable if it's chomitz. Even though schnapps is made out of chomitz. Why is it questionable? How do you make schnapps? You distill it. What does that mean? You boil it up, and then there's some kind of receptacle with a, a thing on the top and it gets falls in there and then it, it condenses and then it drips down somewhere else and you get the pure stuff out of it. So once it evaporated, even though it's in the steam form, according to some, possibly as my, for my favorite sayings, I say it lost its to that zone. It's not what it was, and it's something new, and it's not comets. This is a question which, according to the Knight of Yehuda, is unsolvable, what the status of it is. Now, we know what it is. You know, There's th not a question of being primitive in thought. We know what it is, 100%, but doesn't necessarily carry its Halachas to it. Now, I'm just, I'd like to expand upon this because this has ramifications many places. From the questions that I get asked very often, and every time I get asked that I'm pained because there's no reason why these shadows should happen, except for that people are human. Somebody bakes something in their oven, milchiks together with fleshiks or something like that. And one of the things that I've commonly baked uh, is cheese. And many times when the cheese is baked, the cheese is still in what would be halachically be called a solid. Now, it doesn't become a liquid. It's a solid. And there's a question in halacha, if steam of a solid, what its halachic status is. Is it really milchiks or not? And Ramosha Feinstein in Achuba actually is mitzahed in certain times to be mako. 
and I use that Igris Moisha sometimes when I have questions about things that happen in the oven with, with cheese. Because Zayas Mashke Kemohu, Zayas Eichlin Eino Kemohu. Now, obviously, we know that the Zaya of the Eichel is as much part of the Eichel as the Zaya of the Mashke. No, it's not a question of a primitive thought process. It's a question of character. How, do we, how does Halacha see it? Does it see it as an extension of it or not? So, the, by the same uh, thought process, there are those who say that you're to still chomets is not chomets. Are we are everybody over here? Okay. Now, what about if you have water that became evaporated, distilled, and then it recondensed? Uh, will that be water that's kosher to make a mikvah out of it or not? Oh, yes. Yes. That's How, yes. How could it be? Because it's water. Oh, oh, water. Why is that different? Why is that different than snow? It's Can distilled I in a clay. What? It's distilled in a clay, is it not? I, no, I'll have it not in a clay. I'll the have clouds. it not in a clay. In the clouds? I'll have, a, I'll have it not in a clay. And even if it would be distilled in a kli and it would be shuvim, still, according to many pais kim, I didn't let you know all the halachic tricks, but you could make a mikvah out of shuvim bam shachom. It still would be kosher. There's a way to make a mikvah out of, part of the mikvah at least, out of shuvim. But all water was evaporated and then came back condensed again. It's the cycle of water. Parrots, the main... Uh, banner of tonight's year is we know all that. That's a Pasek in Kohelis. We know that. We don't care. It's a question of what the way we see it. Now that's exactly the point over here. Do we, right? do we, we learn see it as water? What? You know, if it was something else in condensed, if it evaporated and then condensed, is it? do we see it as water? That's what we're discussing right now. You just you just repeated what I just asked you. Well, we said we we do see it as water. Well, I, I didn't say if that. It rain, if it rains in a mikvah, is it good? Oh, well, did you ever see that evaporated? We just see it as water. Oh, it's because we saw it being evaporated that makes a difference. We. Uh, I don't know. I'm I what's lost the it. What's the difference I, no, between I, I, the I rain? Lost you. I lost you. I lost you physically. I, I, I don't get it. Where, where What's the we... difference between it condensed to the clouds or condensed on the window or condensed in a tube? What's the difference? Because we see it. That's how it appeared to us. We see water as water being in the water being in the cloud is going to be. I'll, I want to I'll tell you something. And this is something which um, troubles me for about 15 years, more, probably about 20 years. Um, the accepted sack of Kemat Ulder Abonim that I know of is that the water from your air conditioner is muksa because it's moilud because it came from nowhere. The Gemara says that rain is not muksa because rain was in the clouds. Now you know and I know and the Gemara knows. No, this is not. You know, it's not the pshat is that we're smarter than them. That it could be that yesterday the, the those clouds didn't exist. Those clouds were formulated today, and yet we say that that water was around Maya be'ivi mivayavi. That the Gemara says that the water was in the clouds, and therefore it's not moilin. It's not something new. It's even so worse. No, it's out of the tomb. That's not what the Gemara is talking about. It's a different question. The one is talking about the one is talking about whether it's moilet or not, and it says no because it was here. It, it was in the clouds, and we know, and we know that um, the stuff in your it comes out of your air conditioners comes from the same place as the stuff in your in the clouds comes from. The same place when you clean your glasses, you get that uh, 
mist. I don't know what you want to call it exactly. Yeah, and we know, and we know, yeah, if you wear a mask, you know all about this. And you know that there's just as much smoke coming out of your mouth in the summer as there is in the winter, even though you only see it in the winter. We know all this. You don't have to be, Chazal were not doofy. They were aware of all of this. And still they had these questions. So we have to try to understand them. That's, that's the, the, the issue over here, which you're trying to get to, right? Now, we know all of those things are obvious to everybody, but halacha does not work by what we know from a scientific point of view, even in halacha. It works by the way that we perceive it. This we find many, many times in halacha. So this is a question um, which I'm going to, you know, I don't know if I should, which I should do first, but I'm going to read right now the last thing that I gave you, parents. This is important. That's not spending time on it. I sent you a Mishnah Bura, the last thing I sent you. The Orachayim. Yeah. Did you produce that? Okay. You got, everybody has that, yeah? Sak mole kemach shenislach lech mizeas hachoma. It got wet from the condensation on the wall. Mutter. Viesh oiser. Says the Mishnah Buro. Mutter. Zion. Enchilik ben wazeya bo mipne miuta ave kemosha mosibim artefim. It's stuffy and therefore you have condensation. Um, doesn't make difference where the water is coming from. That it's not like water in order to make hechshem. We call mokom le odiv mi mei peiros vim kain le fimad poskin leil etc. Ain nolosh. But we just said even though that we know the source of this is mayim, still doesn't make the kukub. It's not a problem. Viyesh aisrim v'svile de lo yafin on chometz me hechshem tuma. We don't learn chametz from hechshet tuma, but the gabe chametz kol shuretiva shamayim. As long as it's water, yesh bo koch lahachametz. And what do I care about halochas and tuma v'tayra of machshirin that it has to be yachchad dam? What's that have to do with anything? We want to know over here: is this going to cause the wheat to rise? The yesh cause the tam swarazu lefi shachoyma meazia mekach mayim sheyesh boy. The reason why it sweats is because there's water. There's water absorbed. They're all called like May Paris. So again, we know for sure what's going on. There's no suffix. But a dira ikigadari shayna. Kemosh is also chav betchilo. May Paris hang. Mikomokam yeshlochus lechatchilo. The dasa oisr. Okay. So what did we just say? What did we just say? Anybody want to tell me that even though we know it's water, water, water. But could be even for chametz and matzah, it has two different halachas. Says the Shari Tzir and Yerala. V'atam k'mo shekosu v'abash v'zel ha'shara av'agav shekol zeya e'na ela machmas retivus hamayim for people like parents. Don't get, don't make any mistake. We know why it's <coughs> wet. Kivon shenivlo v'gsalim. It got absorbed. It lost its tudat zahot. And we don't see it as mayim. So even though we know 100% for sure what it is, 
but there are dinim. And the din will tell us that this is not machmet, even though we know 100% that it's water. Anybody so I can bake bread. Drink? So I can bake bread with it, and I don't have to worry about it on Pesach. Maybe I can't eat it, but I can just leave it sitting around Pesach. Correct. Correct. That's what it says. Oh, there's the answer for the pizza shops. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe does Myra sign. <laughs> Seder. Okay, you guys can speak to your Archaim rabbi. Today I'm the uh, the McFoy's rabbi. I don't know anything about Archaim right now. But I'm just reading. This is what it says, right? I didn't, this is not my read. You know, it's not my reading. This is the Mishnabura. But so, but the bottom line is, we don't care that there's rising flour because, in the end of the day, this is not officially water or whatever you want to call it. So that's not that's not the chumash that Torah was talking about. Torah was talking about chumash that comes from real water. Well said, correct. And it, there are ingredients in chumash. The ingredients, and I want to tell you something just to um, just to make it clear, may Paris. There's a machlaikis. If it's machmetz, yeser, maher, it's not machmetz at all. What in the world? What are we talking about? All right. So the, the, now these are halach. These are halachas. They're not. They're not uh, um, scientific uh, appreciations. Okay. This is this is step one. So I'm really introducing now. When we read our Mishnah, and our Mishnah says that there's Barad and there's Kvar and there's Shaleg, so each one is a Chidush that you could make it or it's Mitzarev to a Mikvah. Not so Pashit. Not all things created out of H2O have the same halachic status. That's the flip side of the water the rub was talking about. Is if you tried using that for Pesach, you wouldn't should make matzahs with it. Correct. One hundred percent true. This is you just hit on the gluten problem. Those people who are celiac and they make um, matzahs out of oats that are grown in this special place in Scotland that does not have gluten in it, there are those that say that you're not yaitza matzo with it. Because being that it doesn't have gluten in it, it cannot rise. So it can't be shmur matzo. Wow. Which is exactly what you said. No, you have to have something that you have to watch that it shouldn't become <laughs> rising. But if it, you took the rising stuff out of the wheat, so maybe it's mezoinus, but it's not can't be matzah, because matzah has to be an aborted chametz. Right. Aren't you happy you're not gluten free? This is one of the reasons. This is the halachic reason that you're not happy. That you're happy. <laughs> there are probably other reasons that you're happy too. Yeah. <laughs> so so right. why by the gluten do we look at the scientifically how it works, and by the water we work look at whether we consider it water or not? The exact opposite. You're saying you're saying the gluten, even though first it looks all, like wheat and it's still wheat, but first of all, first of all, um, because it parrots, does. parrots. Yes. Could you buy gluten-free matzahs? I never tried. Of course you can. That's what I was talking about. The gluten-free matzahs that people eat, and there's some that have this problem. And what are the other ones say? that it's wheat, it's wheat, it's wheat, and you have no right to make such a distinction. They're in 100% agreement with you. No, that you're, you're not wrong, you're right. The question is, when do you say what? Yep, that's the question. Yeah, no, when, but when first, we go, before, When we go by no, the no, no. physical No, 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 yeah, yeah, but first, I have to introduce to you that there is two, two parallel subjects. It's not one subject. It's no, not but the Tzavah Shav is, do we look at what does it physically do, or do we look at what is the halacha consideration? When do we distinguish between one to the other? So, and, that, and that is something that has to be learned in every situation, 
And Chazal, that's I'm pointing out, the Paiskim are aware of the scientific fact, and that wasn't the thing that determined the halach. No, so that wasn't, that, that's not the, that's not the, we're going to go and check it out with the scientists. We have to know. In other words, let, let's start the other way around. There's Sheva Mashkin, there's Tal, and there's Mayan. Could you tell me the difference between Tal and Mayan? I have no difference. The Tal evaporates even in an egg. I don't know. I have no idea what the words you said are just now. Even in a closed container, the towel will evaporate when the sun comes. Is out. it something else or not? Did Chazal think it was something else? They Apparently thought it was so. pasta falling down from the sky? What did they think? No, they said. They, they said it has, it even said it has different characteristics. Well, what, you tell me the different characteristics. I'm just telling you what they said. I, I asked you a no? question. But no, it's the, 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 I'm showing you the simple, what we would call scientific uh, the definition. They're exactly the same thing. Just one precipitated one way and one in the other way. The, your towel is more or less the same thing as the, when I wake up every morning and I'm frustrated with the stuff on my window. What is that? Towel. You know, when I was a kid, I asked my father, how come it only falls on the grass and doesn't fall on the sidewalk? Pretty smart, this stuff. Right? <laughs> well, it's all the same thing. All right, I guess I, I really would like to continue because it's an important subject. It's fascinating when we get to the McCloy's part of this.